Most women set out to try to change a man, and when they have changed him, they do not like him. Love for the joy of loving and not for the offerings of someone else's heart. Grumbling is the death of love. It's the friends you can call up at a M that matter. Darling, the legs aren't so beautiful. I just know what to do with them. When you're dead, you're dead. That's it. Once a woman has forgiven her man, she must not reheat his sins for breakfast. How do you know love is gone? If you said that, you would be there at seven and you get there by nine and he or she has not called the police. Yet it's gone. The average man is more interested in a woman who is interested in him than he is in a woman with beautiful legs. Sex is much better with a woman, but then one can't live with a woman. For women, beauty is more important than the mind because the man is easier to watch than to think. The weak are more likely to make the strong weak than the strong are likely to make the weak strong on teasing. Teach your teenage daughters not to tease boys into physical desire. You might save their lives. You can't live without illusions, even if you must fight for them. I had no desire to be an film actress, to always play somebody else, to be always beautiful, with somebody constantly straightening out your every eyelash. It was always a big bother to me. I'm not an actress. I'm a personality. Tenderness is greater proof of love than the most passionate of vows. Champagne makes you feel like it's Sunday and better days are just around the corner. There is a gigantic difference between earning a great deal of money and being rich. Careful grooming may take 20 years off a woman's age, but you can't fool a flight of stairs. In America, sex is an obsession. In other parts of the world it's a fact. In language, gender is particularly confusing. Why please? Should a table be male in German, female in French, and castrated in English? I dress for the image, not for myself, not for the public, not for fashion, not for men. I do not think we have a right to happiness. If happiness happens, say thanks. A king, realizing his incompetence, can either delegate or abdicate his duties. A father can do neither. If only sons could see the paradox, they would understand the dilemma. Think twice before burdening a friend with a secret. Don't follow it blindly into every dark alley. Always remember that you are not a model or a mannequin for which the fashion is created. Words can bruise and break hearts and minds as well. There are no black and blue marks, no broken bones to put in plaster casts and therefore no prison bars for the offender. Soup not only warms you and is easy to swallow and to digest, it also creates the illusion in the back of your mind that mother is there. There comes a time when suddenly you realize that laughter is something you remember and that you were the one laughing. Glamour is assurance. It is a kind of knowing that you are all right in every way, mentally and physically and in appearance, and that whatever the occasion or the situation, you are equal to it. It is my private life, which no one knows anything about, nor ever will. It needs more than half my time. If it is to be a success, courage and grace are a formidable mixture. The only place to see it is in the boring. Love affairs are the real only education in life. I love quotations because it is a joy to find thoughts one might have beautifully expressed with much authority by someone recognized wiser than oneself. Being in the depths of sadness is just as important an experience as being exuberantly happy. A country without bordellos is like a house without bathrooms. A man would prefer to come home to an unmade bed and a happy woman than to a neatly made bed and an angry woman. The relationship between the makeup man and the film actor is that of accomplices in crime. What a man notices first about a woman is whether she notices him. Duties are what make life most worth living. Lacking them, you are not necessary to anyone. Every human being is in need of talking to somebody. In this country nobody has time. It seems that talking to a friend has gone out of style. Now you have to pay money to go to an analyst. 
gentleman, a man who buys two of the same morning paper from the doorman of his favorite nightclub when he leaves with his girl. Most people who make movies are in real life a bitter disappointment. I on the other hand, am so much better in real life. To be completely woman, you need a master, and in him a compass for your life. You need a man you can look up to and respect. If you dethrone him it's no wonder that you are discontented and discontented. Women are not loved for long. Marie Magdalene Marlene Dietrich December 27, 1901 May 6, 1992 at Leber Street 65 in the neighborhood of Roe Insel in Schneeberg, now a district of Berlin. Her mother, Wilhelmina Elizabeth Josephine Felsing, was from an affluent Berlin family who owned a jewelry and clock-making firm. Her father, Louis Eric Otto Dietrich, was a police lieutenant. Dietrich had one sibling, Elizabeth 5 February 1900 May 8, 1973. Dietrich's father was born on August 26, 1867 and died in August 1908. His best friend, Edward von Losch, an aristocratic first lieutenant in the Grenadiers, courted Wilhelmina and married her in 1914, but he died in July 1916 from injuries sustained during the First World War. Von Losch never officially adopted the Dietrich sisters, so Dietrich's surname was never Von Losch, as has sometimes been claimed. Dietrich's family nicknamed her Lena, Lean or Lenny aged about 11. She combined her first two names to form the name Marlene. Dietrich attended the August Victoria Girls School from 1907 to 1917 and graduated from the Victoria Lewis Schule, today Goethe Gymnasium in Berlin Wilmersdorf in 1918. Dietrich was a German and American actress and singer whose career spanned from the 1910s to the 1980s. The earliest professional stage appearances by Dietrich were as a chorus girl on tour with Guido Thielscher's Girl Cabaret Vaudeville Style Entertainments and in Rudolf Nelson Reviews in Berlin. In 1922, Dietrich auditioned unsuccessfully for theatrical director and impresario Max Reinhardt's Drama Academy. However, she soon found herself working in his theaters as a chorus girl and playing small roles in dramas. In 1920s Berlin, Dietrich performed on the stage and in silent films. Her performance as Lola Lola in Joseph von Sternberg's The Blue Angel 1930 brought her international acclaim and a contract with Paramount Pictures. She starred in many Hollywood films, including six iconic roles directed by Sternberg, Morocco 1930, her only Academy Award nomination, Dishonored 1931, Shanghai Express and Blonde Venus both 1932, The Scarlet Empress 1934, The Devil is a Woman 1935, Desire 1936, and Destry Rides Again 1939. She successfully traded on her glamorous persona and exotic looks and became one of the era's highest paid actresses. Throughout World War II, she was a high-profile entertainer in the United States. Although she delivered notable performances in several post-war films, including Billy Wilder's A Foreign Affair 1948, Alfred Hitchcock's Stage Fright 1950, Billy Wilder's Witness 4, The Prosecution 1957, Orson Welles's Touch of Evil 1958, and Stanley Kramer's Judgment at Nuremberg 1961, she spent most of the 1950s to the 1970s touring the world as a marquee live show performer. Dietrich was known for her humanitarian efforts during World War II, housing German and French exiles, providing financial support and even advocating their American citizenship for her work on improving morale on the front lines during the war. She received several honors from the United States, France, Belgium, and Israel. In 1999, the American Film Institute named Dietrich the ninth greatest female screen legend of classic Hollywood cinema. 